Hey everybody, it's Amar here at Cancel. Super excited to be with you today to unbox our latest and greatest toy, the Navis VLX second generation mobile mapping solution. Let's take a look. Still has that new car smell, can't beat that. What we have inside the case here is the unit itself sitting in the center portion. Of course, it's got four batteries included with it. Each one is good for about an hour and a half to two hours, so you'll easily get a full day's worth of work out of it. Very important piece of the solution is the SSD. This is where all the data is stored, one terabyte, so plenty of space for, for days of work. The battery charger, of course, that's included with it. Another critical part of the solution is the belt. This basically helps to distribute the weight very evenly, more so on your hips and less so on your shoulders. Makes it super comfortable for use for extended periods of time. Of course, I'd just like to highlight the Navis custom built door stops, beautiful little addition to, to the actual overall solution. And of course, the rugged ice Pelican case, which makes it really, really safe for air travel, car travel, foot travel, whatever the case might be. Very, very well ruggedized and well built solution. Please make note of the sizes on the actual unit itself. It's basically designed to be used by someone as short as five feet, all the way up to about almost seven feet. We actually do have an employee at Navis that's six foot 10, which fits very comfortably in the unit there. Now that I've got my trusty belt on here, let's uh, take a look at what you need to do to get started with the actual VLX unit itself. Step one is to basically unfold the bottom section of it. Use the included screwdriver to essentially screw in the reinforcement. You'll get a click to know that it's properly sealed. Same thing on the other side. Once that's ready to go, we're gonna take it out of the case and do the, the initial first step, which is turning it on and performing the self calibration. Let's take it out of the case. Now that we've got it in position, Typically just grab it with two hands, pretty light, put it on the table here. Next up will be to grab one of the batteries. Of course, they'll click right into the side. One on each side. Let's go ahead and put the SSD in as well. Securely. Now, the next step is to basically turn it on. So we've got the button on the side here, which I'm going to press. And now the boot up process is going to start, which takes about a minute. So now that we've got it on the table, we've powered it up. It's performed its self calibration routine. I've got the batteries in place, the SSD on board. All we need to do next is basically get it on to myself. So the easiest thing to do is to clip it into the belt like so and just rest it onto your shoulders and you're basically good to go. Again, I just want to elaborate the importance of the structure of the design of the Navis VLX. Again, the belt supports about 75 to 80 percent of the weight. The rest of it is just on your shoulders, more for motion control than anything else. So it is quite comfortable. It is very easy to use for an extended period of time. I've personally walked with it for a couple of hours and you don't feel anything after. It is very, very easy to use for the entire day. A few keynotes with respect to the overall design of the system. First and foremost, it's forward facing. This is very important and very critical to be mindful of specifically as it relates to other SLAM solutions. In the market, you can actually see what's happening in front of you. You don't have to worry about entities not being picked up behind you. Um, you'll, everything that you're gonna do is gonna be happening directly on the screen here. You can see that we've got two LiDAR sensors that are capturing all of the data in every motion. That's what allows you to sort of populate the data so quickly and capture the area very quickly. In terms of the motion that you're going to use, it's just a normal walk. You don't have to run, you don't have to crawl. It's just a normal walk. And even as you're walking, you've got a speedometer essentially at the top of the screen that will let you know if you're moving too quickly or too slowly. The frame itself is anodized, so it is suitable for most working environments. The SSD again has one terabyte of space, so plenty of space to, to get through lots of big projects. The, the LiDAR sensors themselves are, are Velodyne off the shelf. Critical component of the overall solution is the integrated IMU. However, the secret sauce to the overall performance of the VLX system is the software. Cloud-based processing that basically allows you um, to upload everything that you've captured in the field essentially processed in the cloud overnight, uh, AWS servers, 
you get a registered point cloud model at the end of the day with very little work as far as the downstream processing goes. It's a critical difference compared to many of the other solutions on the market today whereby you're performing typical registration using the provided software. It is very much in the cloud, black box so to speak, but incredibly effective and an incredibly powerful solution. You also don't have to have a powerful computer to do this. Basically any laptop with a Chrome browser or something similar is all you need to make sure uh, that you can get everything working. So everyone, we hope we've piqued your interest here as it relates to the Navis VLX second generation mobile mapping solution. Definitely a fantastic tool for a lot of our existing clients who are currently comfortable with LiDAR tech or just new to the technology. Great for our traditional client base, our surveys, our engineers, uh, but also a really great tool for our BIM folks, our VDC folks, and all of the other segments that we serve here at Cancel. Please do visit cancel.ca to learn more, or please feel free to reach out to your local representative. Uh, more than happy to help. Thank you again for your time.